We're going to color the body of the car in this exercise. We're going to use auto in our quick selection. We're going to use quick selection. We, have, we want to make sure auto enhance is checked. We have a small hard edge brush, an eight. We have add to selection. These are called stickies. So it does default to add to selection, but if you're sharing a computer, somebody might have it on another sticky, so check. So there's the quick selection tool. It lives with the magic wand. Magic wand works best on straight color. I'm going to select the hood, just a little bit of the hood. And then I'm going to hold down the option key. And at first I'm going to say, we don't want that little round thing. We don't want the chrome. I'm going to go around and around. This helps because you're really, believe it or not, telling Photoshop, I don't want this stuff. I don't want the bumper included. Uh, it's not going to go this far, but I don't want this or this or this or this or this included. And now I'm going to go back here and start. And it'll be less cleanup. On this one, it's not perfect. I've seen one, I've seen situations where it's more perfect. See, it like right went right into that. So I'm going to hold down the option key. I, I still have cleanup to do there. And not bad. We're close. Uh, one thing I want to do now is show you the keyboard shortcut for quick mask. This is the icon in the toolbar. But if I hit the Q key, we're in quick mask. Definitely use a hard edge brush. We'll soften everything together later. Here are the white and black. If we want to flip them back and forth, we can use the X key or the little arrows. I'm going to use the X key right now because it, it's, it's faster and I don't want to bore you. Um, we don't want this to be the color of the hood of the car. We can always change it, by the way. We're working non-destructively. I need white here so I can maybe even a smaller brush. See, I want to get that because that's part of the hood of the car, I believe. Not being a car aficionado, I believe this is part of the car, not part of the chrome. If I find out later I'm wrong, I can fix it. Again, we're working non-destructively, which means we never, ever impact the original crystals, the original pixels on um we want this a little bigger now there oh i have to go to hit x so i can get the black and that's not half bad let's see look around some things you can see better when they're in marching ants and some things you can see better when they're in um quick mask i see a little bit of schmutz there and a little bit of schmutz there. And this might even be cleaned up with a, a pen tool in the end. Not bad. And I'm going to go use the Q key to go back to my marching ants because I want to make an alpha channel of this. So I'm going to go up here, select, save selection, car, body. There it is. That is a truly an alpha channel. I'm going to Command D, Control D on the PC. Hold the Option key, Alt key on the PC, and see if there's any things that are obvious that I can clean up like this. Maybe a little white around here. I'm not really sure. Again, I can fix this later, and I'll show you how. This is a little bit not so sure. Sometimes you don't want sharp borders, but we'll see. We'll see if we want to change it. So there, I'm going back to the composite layer by hitting RGB, which means all red, green, and blue. Now I have done nothing yet. I want to bring up that selection. So I will go to select, load selection, under channel, go to, I now I have the left headlight and the car body. I don't have to add it to anything. I'm just loading it. But I want to get an adjustment. I'm going to get the photo filter adjustment. 
notice it gives it a layer mask in the shape of the hood. And I'm going to increase the density. So now there we have a different color to the hood of the car. However, later versions of Photoshop work better on lighter colors or black and whites. They have more adjustments that will read them. If you're on an early, if you're on six, six is fine for these lessons, or even five, but hue saturation and photo filter seem to be the really dominant ones. Some of the other ones in CC work, but you'll, you'll do fine if you don't have every filter. I see a few things, a few little things here I could fix on the layer mask with, with let's see, a white reveal. See, I can see it better. You could almost zoom in. Boom, boom. Yeah, and I'm gonna go back to the brush at the B key. And there you go. This one came out pretty good. So I'm gonna uh, double click the hand tool to fit on screen. And we will move on to the next lesson in a few minutes. Thanks.